Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, Berenice. Hi. Hi. Now, tonight is a very special night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been thinking about English lately? Yeah. All right, you have the everything ready for tonight? I think so. Yeah, you think so? Okay, so <laughs> remember that, that, well, I think it would be a great time together. Well, let us wait a little bit, okay, so that the rest can gather and we can start with the, with the class itself. Uh, uh, well, let me see, I have some practice. Okay, so, you know, this week we are going to work in the final exam because, well, this is, well, we're going to, we're going to be uh, in this uh, course until, until the next week, right? Monday will be our last class, right? Monday, next week. Uh-huh. Next okay. week on Monday. Mm -hmm. That will be our last class. Okay, hopefully uh, everybody gathered tonight. And I don't know. Let's see. Maybe some people is chatting in the WhatsApp group. No. Oh, yeah, but, but Anissa, you're the one that's chatting, right? Yeah. <laughs> and also Maribel. So Maribel says she's over here now. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hello, good to see you in the class now. It's okay, we're missing one minute to start. Hopefully everybody will gather tonight. Okay. So well, what's new, uh Tanya? What can you what did you learn? During the weekend in English. The weekend in English. <laughs> um, how, how was it? A new word. Ah, you, you learn um, new words. Learner or learner or learner. Era como aprendiz. Okay. So that's a learner, right? Learner, yes. Yeah, or a pupil. If you look for the word pupil, then you will notice that it's almost the same. Uh, Belen is over there. Gladys, hello. Hello, Belen. Hello, Gladys. Hello. Hello, welcome. So if you don't have any problem with the camera, do the favor to activate it. Okay. Have five people. Okay, we're in waiting for. Well, I, I, I know that you have been practicing a lot, right? what to do how to act and and um and also i know that you have prepared some uh sound effects yeah it's, it's, did, did you learn like a sound to do a sound like to to whistle you know how to whistle right So, well, actually, it's going to be a big surprise tonight. Hello, Veronique. Welcome. I can see Veronique. Veronique, welcome. Good Ed evening. Good evening. Good evening. Edgar, good evening. Michael, good evening. I don't know if you uh, if you have learned something, something new lately. Okay. Not only English, but also <laughs> different things. Hello, Michael. Hi, teacher. Hi, buddy. Hi, <laughs> hi. Good to see you. Hi. Good to see you here. So I'm trying to make some minutes. Okay, actually, it's eight. It's a minute after eight. So I will start. I will check the list of attendance. You know, that's the first thing I do. Yeah. Then we're gonna we're gonna work in a couple of exercises. Uh, um. Uh, I'm pretty interested in uh, completing some exercises that you're missing in the platform, right? Remember that this is uh, week number four. 
and that we are having classes until the next Monday, right? So actually we are almost uh, finishing with the, with the basic English course, number two. Okay, so hopefully everybody will uh, succeed. Okay, this group, you know, this group is quite, it's an, an excellent group. People gather on time, people practice English all the time. Uh, people do homework assignments. So I really love this group actually. So, well, I will check list attendance. And you tell me, press it, hello, good evening, so that I can notice you are over here. Just before getting into the class, right? So what day is the date, people? What's the date to date? What's the date today? You know? Um, July the 10th. Uh, okay, today is Monday. Monday, July the 10th, and the year 2023. All right, 2023. Excellent, people. So, Aidan, Belen, hello, uh, Aidan is over here. Good, good to know you're on time, buddy. Uh, uh, Belen is over here, Claudia, Daniel, present teacher. Okay, Maribel. Present teacher. Good, Maribel. Edgar? Present teacher. Excellent. Gladys? Present, Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Jonathan? Maria Elba? Present teacher. Good. Mario Cristobal? Marta? Berenice? Present teacher. Good. Michael? Yes, teacher. All right, Aníbal. So Aníbal is now here yet. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Good. Oscar Antonio. Ronan. I know Ronan is here. I saw Ronan. Ronan, are you there? Right in the chat. He's in the chat. Let me see. Ah, oh, yeah, Ronan is over here. Good. Ronan Teresa. Teresa is not here. And Veralis. Great. All right. So the majority of the people are over here. So hopefully that all of the people gather tonight. You know, this is a very special night because we need to go over the activity we have been preparing for two weeks, right? So for our, yeah, it's been like a week, right? So tonight you are going to uh, present what you have uh, prepared, okay? Well, we're gonna go over the platform. So Aníbal is over here. So we're gonna go to the platform and also Maribel. All right. All right, Maribel, I, I can see you are over here now. Hey, Maria Elba is over here also. Welcome. So okay, let's get down to business. Time to time to work. Okay. Now I will I will explain something, okay, to you. Le voy a explicar cómo funciona la, 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 la plataforma respecto a cómo se mueve por semana. Okay, para que en futuras ocasiones no, no, este, no duden en preguntar por cualquier situación. Okay? Lo hago porque ya prácticamente estamos por finalizar. Miren, okay, si ustedes se fijan acá, dice Humber One. Okay? Cada vez que usted hace una tarea en esta semana, porque van por semana, aquí se va acumulando hasta obtener el 100%. Semana 1, semana 2 y la semana 3, miren, todavía tenemos pendientes, ¿ok? Si usted sabe que tiene pendiente la semana 3, miren, hay algunos que ya trabajaron semana 4, ¿ok? Pero eso depende de cada quien, ¿verdad? Eso, eso está muy bien, depende de cada quien. Pero sí les quiero aclarar, 
de que cada vez que ustedes ha, hacen una tarea, eso se va acumulando por semana. ¿Ok? El midterm, todos lo realizaron ya. Estuve revisando y a todos. Miren, llevamos un récord que a mí la verdad me, me, me enorgullece mucho. Quisiera que todos tuvieran el 100%, pero también sé que uh, hay personas que se les dificulta por tiempo. Ok, pero sería excelente que tuviéramos eh, o mejoráramos aún más el récord que llevamos. El récord va súper bien. Aquí es donde yo plasmo su récord. Es necesario. Cada vez que alguien falta, por ahí este, reciben una llamada, ¿ok? De preguntando por qué alguien faltó. Es importante aclararlo para que en un futuro ustedes no, no, no tengan preguntas respecto a cómo van con, con las actividades. Ok, dicho esto, vamos con lo que me interesa. Si ustedes se fijaron, la semana 3 todavía no está completa. Vamos a trabajar algunos ejercicios desde la mitad quizás de la semana 3. Luego vamos a hacer, um, a tomarnos quizás unos unos que otros unos 10 minutos en trabajar un ejercicio por ahí en el en el PDF y luego le doy el tiempo para que termine de preparar su presentación, escuchamos las presentaciones y luego seguimos trabajando en caso pues eh, el tiempo, pues yo creo que sí nos va a alcanzar el tiempo para seguir adelantando, seguir aprendiendo más. Este día es pura práctica, ¿ok? So, vamos vamos a, a trabajar Ah, otra cosa, antes de, antes de iniciar ya de lleno, esta semana pues necesito que trabajen el, el final test, el examen final. Ok, ya entramos a semana 4. Ok, eh, vamos a trabajar algunos ejercicios de acá, pero acá, si ustedes se fijan, uh, ya prácticamente nos viene quedando uno que otro tema por acá y el final exam. Y ahí culminamos. All right, so let's get down to business, schedule events, section number three. Anyway, we're gonna work in the last in the last exercises. All right, so so that everybody can uh, accomplish right all of them. La idea es de que todos ahorita ya están ya estén este en su plataforma y tratemos de completar todos los ejercicios de tal forma que si es posible, todos tengan su 100% de la semana 3. Ok, present continuous. A simple present versus... Ah, this is a good one, ok, because we can see both. Present simple, present continuous. This is number 12. So, we're going to be working like 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, we're going we're gonna to be like working a lot in the platform tonight. So, we're going to spend like 20 minutes in this. Then you're going to be given your time to, to finish the, the presentation you have been preparing lately. And at the end of the presentation, we're going to be continue or we're, we're going to continue working with uh, some exercises in the PDF. If you notice over here, I didn't include some other links because I know that tonight is a very busy night. Okay, so let us, let us go over it. Now, people, so do me the favor to tell me let's see okay what's going on with the exercises over here oh yeah this is the one sorry okay now uh oh, but listen these are these are soft let me see if we can if if we can well let me see if it is possible to to make it once again, well, well, we have, we have different ways to do this. Now, she's drinking coffee with her boss tomorrow. Is this present simple or present continuous? The answer is over here, right? Just a no. Present continuous. Present continuous. Okay, so okay. What, what, is the, what is the word that let you know that's present continuous, meaning future?
as you remember, present continuous can, can, can have different, different usages, right? You can use present continuous in different ways for talking about future, talking about uh, activities you do at the moment of talking, temporary situations. So we studied a lot about it, right? So what is this, what is this case? Future. That's for future, right? So you also have the time expression on here. I like driving to work. Simple present or present continuous? The answer is over here, right? So you can see that's okay. So it's present continuous, right? So, but if you want to make it negative, how do you do that sentence in negative form? Uh, Edgar, negative form, please. I like driving to work, negative. Edgar. Edgar, are you there? Hi, teacher. Okay, so negative statement. I like yeah. driving to work. Negative statement, please. I don't. I don't? Like. I don't like right. driving to work. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, a double H question with this sentence, please. Uh, repeat, please. But can you please create a double H question with this statement? Now, John, uh, let me see. Edgar said the negative statement, right? So what would be like the, the interrogative form? Mm. Interrogative question. Um, Edgar or, or, or you? Or please, come... please, Jonathan, create a question with this statement. Mm. I like driving to work. Um, I like driving to work. I don't like driving to work. Uh huh. Yeah. Question. Um, no idea. Like, uh, like I drive into work, or I. Um, no, no. Sorry, teacher. Remember that when creating questions, you need to use do or does, right? No. Depending no. on the person, right? So in this case, maybe you got confused because okay. it's it's I, right? And in that case, then you say, "Do I like driving to work, or do you like driving to work?" Like Ah, era, era pregunta para mí. Permítame, eh, tengo una, permítame. Okay, Jonathan, it's all right. Okay, now, over here we have Mr. My sister loves playing chess. That is simple present. present. Simple present. Simple present. Uh, 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 present. present. <laughs> okay, now, uh, Daniel, for you, a double-edged question with this statement, please. And... Does she love playing chess? chess? Does she love playing she chess? Love playing chess? Oh, yeah, that is a yes, no. What would be a double H? Mm. When, what? why, where? Why does <laughs> she love playing chess? Excellent. Hey, why does she love playing chess and not other uh, game? Excellent. They are swimming now. Present continuous. Double H question. Uh, Claudia? They're swimming now. Double H question. They are. they are swimming now. They are not swimming now. Are they swimming now? No. Double H question. When, why? Uh, what, uh, how long, etc. Right? Can somebody create it? 
what? Why? Uh, why what? Why hey, why are why are they swimming now? They know they got the flu. Why? Tienen, tienen gripe. ¿Por qué están nadando ahorita? Why are they swimming now? And what are you doing? Okay, so this this was the the we saw this exercise, okay? So that was number 12. So number 13. We're gonna work with this. Temporary situations. Let's see. Uh Yeah, let's solve this one. Number 14, people. Okay. So Patrick is on holiday in Greece. I'm sure. What is the topic going here? So this, I think this was the last one, right? Present, simple present for temporary situation. Number 14. So we're going to try to work with it. Uh, we're going to spend only... 30 minutes with these exercises, then you are going to be given some time to finish your presentation. All right, we're going to work in that way tonight. Patrick is on holiday in Greece. I'm sure he having fun, he is having fun, or he has fun. He is having fun. He's having fun. He is having fun. Patrick is on holiday in Greece. I'm sure he is having fun. Number two, the situation in a country isn't good. We're losing money, we losing money, or we are losing money. First, second, or third. First, second. First, we are losing money. So the first one. First one. All right, so we are losing money. money. Uh, number three, I like to go to the computer for today. They offer good discounts. They offering uh, good discounts, or they are offering good discounts. Hello. They are offering good discounts. They offering good discounts. Okay, number four. Okay. I had a bad argument with my friend. Friend now. Uh, we don't speaking, we aren't speaking, we are speaking to each other. Uh -huh. What about the rest? I can listen only to, to Daniel. What about the rest? What about the rest, people? Claudia, Aníbal, Aidan. We are speaking. Oh, okay, Aniva, pretty good. So we we are we are speaking. This one. That is that the one that you you said, uh, Aniva. Uh, we are in teacher. We are okay. In. So we are in, right because they had an argument, right? Pretty good. Number five. So we're almost done, people. I have an important English exam at the end of the month. So I am taking extra lessons. I taking extra lesson or I am taking, uh, that's it, right? I'm deciding. The first one, I am taking extra lessons these days. Okay, we're gonna check it. And we're gonna finish with this part, okay? Let's see. Well, I already sent it, but we didn't check. So we're gonna check it now. Hey, it's not working tonight. Well, but those are the oh, those are the correct answer, people. Okay, so that's quite good. Let me see. I think there is somebody in need in the chat. 
Okay, Maribel, Maribel, I got your message. Pretty good. Now, this is this was number 14, right? So this one is the last one. Then you're going to be given your time to finish with your presentation. Okay, now over here it says choose the correct uh, form of the verb. Where's the verb? Uh, my neighbor is <clears throat> playing, playing, playing. Playing. Yeah, but which playing. one? First, second, or third? And then my neighbor playing soccer tomorrow. So second. The second, right? Good. Number two, I am right now. I am swimming, swimming, swimming. Which is the correct one? Third. The third, double M. Okay. What are you these days? Doing, doing, do. <clears throat> doing, doing. Doing, doing, right? The first, the first one or the second one? The first one. The first. first, I-N-G. Number four, people are too many trees. Cut, cutting, cutting. The second, cutting. The second, double T, right? Good. Number five, I am my friend tomorrow. I am seeing, 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 seeing. First, second, or third? Second. Second. The second, all right? Pretty good. Let's see, let's see. Now, yes, we can see the answers. I don't know, maybe my internet's not working well tonight. Okay, pretty good. Number one, play. My neighbor my neighbor is playing soccer tomorrow. Um, I am swimming right now. What are you doing these days? People are cutting too many trees. A number five, I am seeing my friend tomorrow. Good. Well, actually we spent like 25. Okay, so tomorrow, well, that, that's job for tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna work in the groups. Vamos a trabajar en grupos, okay? Recuerden se van a tener, pues, en realidad van a ser 30, 30, 35 minutos para que logren Terminar. Ok. 35, creo que sería suficiente. 35, máximo unos 40 minutos. Máximo. Exagerando, dependiendo lo que yo vea en el. De hecho, creo que la reunión no puede durar más. No me recuerdo cuánto es que permite este Zoom mantener las sesiones por separado. Bueno, creo que hoy lo vamos a descubrir. Ok, vamos a crear los dos grupos y manos a la obra, ok. Object ready.
Ok, sorry to interrupt. Uh, ¿Están todos los del grupo o hay alguien que debe estar en el grupo 2? Let me see. Claudia, no sé si está por acá. Uh, Claudia, well, just right now. Creo que no logra conectar a Claudia. Ok. So, Maribel, no, me, no, no recuerdo si estaba en grupo 1 o 2. Grupo 1. Maribel estaba con nosotros. Ah, ok, Yo pretty good. So, está, estamos completos, ok, mm -hmm. good. Belén, dijo. No recuerdo estar. Yeah, Belén is in this group. Ah, uh, okay, no, Belen belongs to the, let me see, Aidan's group, sure. right? So, yeah, it's Yo from, no yeah. Yo apagué la cámara, teacher. Hello? Yo apagué la cámara porque, por eso me saca, me saca del grupo. Ah, it's okay, okay, Yo don't worry, prevento, Maribel. Pero aquí estoy. Excellent, don't worry. So, let's get down to business, let us work, okay? You have exactly 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. Norma, Norma y Ronan están de oh. oyentes, creo yo. Mm, muy bien. Si no mal entiendo. Bueno, Norma y el... Ronan, entonces ellos ya sabemos cómo vamos a decir, vea, que no pudieron no. contestarnos. Eh... Sí, sí. Ajá, y sí. lo hacemos entre los cuatro. Mm, muy bien. Entonces, como, uh, ahorita nos tocaría por, como ponerse de acuerdo. ¿Quién va a ir después de mí? Obviamente, porque como yo voy a empezar, pa. Uh -huh. Tengo aquí el, el, el diálogo. Los, bueno, los que ya le había, les había compartido la vez pasada. Ajá, donde estaban las letras, solo que en vez de las letras le íbamos a poner el nombre de quién va a participar. El nombre, a quién va, ajá, uh -huh. y no sé, eh, ajá, pero ahí como que ya le di una, la base, ¿verdad? Entonces, falta que después que yo les pregunte lo, lo otro, uh -huh. eh, ya, ya ustedes digan qué es lo que, lo que, ay, espérenme que se me trabó, este, qué es lo que van a decir cada uno. Muy bien. Ajá, eh, porque así yo voy a, yo voy a, yo comienzo, pero no sé quién va a continuar después de mí. No sé quién tiene. Para más. que, para que el compañero Daniel pueda ir armando el documento, nos lo comparte y así pues ya tenemos un solo documento, porque, ah, un solo documento. porque prácticamente lo vamos a ir leyendo. Mm, bien. Del sí. documento que Beralis nos había mandado, tenemos cuatro diálogos. Ajá, ah, los Cabal, cuatro creo que yo que Cabal. participar ahorita, los cuatro. Correcto. Bien. Pero entonces tendríamos que. ¿A dónde habían mandado la documentación? Hola. ¿A dónde habían mandado la documentación? Eh, bueno, yo sinceramente no había enviado nada. Yo tenía escrito por acá. Ah, okay. pero... Es que, bueno, este fin de semana estuve fuera. Entonces... Yo así estoy igual. Eh, la vez pasada igual no me pude conectar. Me sacaba. Me saca... Estamos, pues. Que expliquemos ahí los, los que estamos. Cada uno de sus párrafos. Bueno, yo he hecho le, bueno, lo de lo mío. Y uh -huh. así en el orden en que están en el, en el documento, así los he ido mencionando en oraciones que he ido agregando. Yo como para irlos, por ejemplo, uh -huh. nada, o a Maribel, a Termia Barrio Selfie, nada, o whatever. Uh -huh. Les voy a dar mi, le mi presentación primero y así como están en el documento, así lo puedo ir mencionando. Ok. Ok. Ya me voy. Ya me voy. Bueno, ni veneno. Eh, Ladies and gentlemen, 
and this beautiful night we prepare a little presentation in this group so that you know more and i am an ordinary person my name is bernice i have 26 years old and i get up at 5 30 am every day even though so when i am the alarm goes always a bit annoying of the fact that you saw the screen ring yeah, it's part of the living, I think. I have a kid, and he has seven years old, and I live with my mom, and she prepared coffee cup for the start of my shift. Well, uh, I'm working home at 7 I'm thrilled because in this moment, I am studying English with a people amazing, and I read more, I listen, I listen to music and I write in my time free. Well, and to finish my day in the class and the after making some homework uh, for go to the bed in peace. It's a little bit introduce about my about myself. And uh, now, I don't know, Teresa, tell me about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Next, no está. No está. Bueno, digamos, bueno, dijo la, la Digamos que ya lo dijo. Ok, and you can be? De Claudia. Bueno, nadie quiere leer su parte. Bueno, yo le di la historia, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok, ok, great. Giorgio is really amazing. And hey, Maribel, tell me about yourself. Nothing. Nada, tampoco. It's absent. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks. And Gladys? Hello. Hello. Good evening. And my name is Claudio Moto. I am 25 years old. I like my parents and my foreign brother. First, I went up and I went up at 5.30 a.m. I take a shower, how well. Y pues ya, ya, después de los bailes, porque ahí como, si se recuerdan lo que les leí, terminábamos en lo que, que yo les decía, que a donde decidiera la mayoría, íbamos a ir. Entonces, mm -hmm. pienso que después de que de eso, ustedes ya empiezan a escribir, a eh, puede poner lo que ya está, lo que le han enviado. Ahí voy a agregar, ese es lo último de, de lo que se nos había mandado, decía, but we will do what the majority say. Ajá. Just correcto, don't correcto. tell me you can please. Ajá. Va, entonces ahí voy a agregar lo que tenemos de cada quien. Ajá. Logró ver, María. Sí, sí, lo logré ver. Ajá. Solo que no, no lo puedo abrir. O sea, solo como me lo abren en el teléfono. Pero uh -huh. solo así como, como imagen. Ah, pero ah. por lo menos lo puede ver para, para sí. más o menos ver qué, qué es lo que tenemos ahorita. Sí, eso sí. Ajá, entonces vaya, ahorita hay que decidir quién va a hablar después de, de cada quien. O sea, ¿quién, ir, quién, me, quién me va a contestar primero. Como que ¿Quién empezaría como el, uh, a empezar el plan? Un ejemplo. Ajá, eh, yo voy a empezar. Ah, ok. Yo voy a empezar y yo le voy a, le, o sea, yo los saludo y entonces empiezan los saludos de ustedes y luego yo les doy como la 
propuesta de a dónde vamos, podemos ir. ¿A dónde podemos ir? En teoría, María, este, vamos a hacer como que fuéramos una videollamada. Ah, y okay. así para ponernos de acuerdo y reunirnos Ajá. el domingo, el día domingo. Ah, ok. Bueno, yo en mi, en, mi, en mi como diálogo, yo Ajá. lo que he puesto que, bueno, por ejemplo, de lunes a viernes no puedo porque me encuentro trabajando, realizando las actividades en mi casa. Ahí medio describo lo que me toca hacer de, de lunes a viernes, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y les indico de que ajá, eh, ajá. el lunes a viernes no puedo, podría, eh, digamos, asistir ya sea un sábado o un domingo. Eso es lo que dice dentro de mi conversación. Ah. Correcto, está bien, está perfecto. Entonces envíele eso que tiene ya a Daniel para que lo puedan unir. Entonces este solo vemos, compañeros, quién va a ir después. O sea, definamos ah, ahorita okay. quién va a ser el, los, quién va a ir después de cada quien vaya. El orden, el orden de participación. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Se lo comparto. Ah. Para unirlo y después que nos lo envíe de nuevo. Se los envío de nuevo, cabrón. Ajá, ya. ya no importa tenemos. ahorita si se lo mando así como imagen. O en el chat lo pueden poner es, eh, escrito. Escrito, ajá. Para que mm. solo lo copie y lo pegue. Para solo copiarlo, cabal. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Ya voy a ver cómo hago para sacarlo en Word. Va. Entonces tengo lo que me contestó Mario y Oscar Antonio. Ajá, pero aquí no veo a Oscar. ¿O sí? Ahorita no. No, no está, ese Oscar no está. No está, ajá. Solo estamos, quiero ver, ajá, bueno, María. Bueno, que alguien más Norma lo lea. Porque... Ajá, Norma. Bueno, quizás eso lo podemos poner como que lo dice Norma, quizás. Uh -huh. Y lo voy a decir yo. Pero solo ahí le pone entre paréntesis que es lo que, lo que. Lo que dijo Oscar, lo que Oscar me ajá. escribió, ajá. Para ponerle así norma, entre paréntesis, mi nombre para yo saber que, que ahí voy yo. Ajá. <risa> <risa> Y Jonathan ya le envió a usted. Eh, no. Pues Jonathan, Jonathan. Ahorita, ahorita. Lo estoy editando. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, hola. Hola, Xiomara. Hola, una consulta. Sí, dice que yo no pude participar porque no sé en qué grupo fue que me metieron. No tengo ningún grupo de ustedes. Hola, hola. No estoy en ningún grupo, le digo. No sé en qué grupo fue que mandaron todo eso que están hablando. Sí, nos, con nosotros está. Ajá, pero no... No tengo ningún grupo, no sé si me agregaron alguno. Está con nosotros. Somos el grupo 2. Pero según entiendo, hicieron un grupo de WhatsApp, ¿o no? Ah, no, ya no se no. hizo. No, ya no se hizo, ¿no? Mm. Ah, pues estaba confundido. Sí, lo íbamos a hacer, pero no, no se, no se hizo. <risa> Okay. 
Norma, ¿y va a participar con nosotros? Sí, pero... Eh, eh, cuando lo presente Berenice, puede hacer mención de eso, ¿va? que va a ser algo diferente. ¿va? ¿Va a después? Eh, que va a contar unos deudos. También. Son unas diapositivas que, que me tomé allí un poquito. ¿no? Pues como tuve el día libre, lo preparé para hoy en la mañana. Sí, sí, pero yo digo que como que explique eso, pero en inglés, para que va a hablar algo distinto a los demás. Y tal. Bueno, para que dé la introducción a que algo distinto a... un poco. Okay. ¿You finish, Aníbal? Finish, Maris. Thank you. Yeah, that's so great. One and the last one, Edgar. Come on. Well, my name is Edward. I'm 28 years old. I am from La Salva because of my work. I live in Audio. Every day I wake up at 6.45 in the morning to, to go to work. Oh, already I get up the time. I love the club always rain. And I don't get up yet, but until 15 minutes later. Then I take a shower and brush my teeth, get dressed, bring my coffee, and live in my car for a support. I arrive at the office at 8.30 in the morning. I start by re reviewing what I have scheduled for the, for the day and the course. I fulfill my schedule. At 12 noon, I have my lunch break, break and some work at 1 in the afternoon. If I shift to at the period during the day, I must be present to supervise the operation. Usually, those are the person that are performed in a work, work day. I usually leave my job at 5 in the afternoon or 7 at night. When I get at home, I relax, I check my social network, and I take a bath, ate my chicken, and I get ready for safe in the English class at 8 o'clock at night. At the end of the class, I must do the homework that the teacher sing in the class, and I go to sleep around 11 30 p.m. Yeah. If I can, I on the weekend. I go home to visit my mother. Yes. Wow, guys. Your life is very interesting. Yeah. Well, I think so. Nobody have is the same daily routine, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Every day, I think I have a little something that is uh, new days with my family, with the other things. But it's really nice. Well, then I can finish. Y con las que no, no, no están, no están, no, o sea, no pudieron conectar, las vamos a sí. saltar. ¿o? Sí, porque la verdad. A leer, ¿no? Le voy a hacer un llamado y, y espero que sea, los que puedan conectar o puedan tener su participación. Pero Ajá. si no lo hacen, pues vamos a ir saltando a la Sí, no sé si alguien quiere agregar algo más para lo que se estuvo para los que estuvieron viendo un poquito más lo de la pronunciación no sé, algún mm -hmm. consejo para alguien o algo en, que en, en, en lo mío este, lo que me cuesta pronunciar es la palabra pa, la palabra palabra Areli No sé si por ahí me lo puede mostrar Edgar para ver. Michael, eh, disculpen. Eh, lo que hago a veces 
porque como la tecnología está bien así, bien avanzada. Uh -huh. Yo lo, mi consejo es... Nos faltan unos 10 minutos, teacher. <risa> ¿Mm? Sí, teacher. Por no aguanto la Teacher, 10 minutos. Ay. ¿Mm? Y mejor hubiera ido al seguro. For Me dijo Saúl que fuera. Ay. Porque si no aguanta el dolor de espalda. No es la espalda, sino que es la rodilla. Pues sí, es la espalda baja. Ay. Ya lo enviaron todos. No sé si lo puedo recibir, Dani. Sí, ahorita ya lo estoy copiando el, el otro documento. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Solo que quítele la primera, la primera frase, Dani. <ríe> Solo empieza desde I can from. I can from, va. Bueno, yo este año no voy a ir bien a los Vamos a ver todos. Le voy a mandar entonces cómo me va quedando ahorita el archivo. Eh, ya le envié, no sé. Ya envió no Jonathan. Ah, Jonathan eh, también. Sí, uh -huh. yo creo que lo recogí un poco porque no sé si vamos a salir con el tiempo. Sí, Pero... a dos minutos nos quedan. Híjole. Por lo menos ahora así ya tenemos el documento y ya sabemos quién va a participar después de cada quien. Uh -huh. Tal vez me hace el favor, Dani, también de compartírmelo así por correo, porque por el teléfono se me ha sido complicado. De compartírselo por, por correo. El mismo correo, sí. Ajá, va. Ajá, va. Espérame, que todavía no me ha caído el de Jonathan. Escrito lo ha mandado al chat. Ah, escrito lo mandó. Aquí, ah, aquí. Ya, ya, ya lo vi, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Sí, es que tengo dificultades ahí. Ajá, porque no tengo compu, lo... entonces con la tablet. Ajá. Sí, está bien, ahorita lo. Bueno, hablo de que no puedo el martes, pero no sé, eh, y les pregunto que si, ¿qué les parece si vamos el sábado? Entonces. Ahí creo que estoy perdido, lo siento. Va, ahorita les comparto entonces. Como... ¿Creerías que ese how everybody puede decirlo al principio, solo como saludito como... Así, y después dice lo demás. Sí, ¿cómo están todos? O sea, ajá, así. ajá, y después, ya cuando ya pregunte, este, ya va a decirlo así, que no puede por esto y esto. Bueno, por ejemplo, en español sería, eh, ¿cómo están todos? Me parece buena idea. Eh, yo creo que ahí el, el corrector me... De, de, me me hizo cambiar de, de. Eh, good idea ah oh, pero sí, bueno lo importante es que sepamos también eh, el nombre de quién a nombre de quién va eh, parece buena idea es lógico pero el martes no podré acompañarles tengo que hacer un viaje a los registros de otro departamento con mi compañera Xiomara y en realidad es cierto 
Eh, pero, ¿qué les parece si lo dejamos para el sábado? Esa sería mi pregunta. Vaya, entonces voy a terminar yo y le voy a decir si están de acuerdo en una salida familiar al zoológico el día domingo. Y todos dicen, ok, 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 y ya. Very good. Mm -hmm. Ajá, ajá. ¿Les parece? Sí, está bien. Sí. Así ya terminamos. <risa> <risa> y no sé, sonidos eh, de fondo ambientales, no sé qué, qué podríamos... Lo íbamos a agregar sí. supuestamente cuando ya estábamos en el zoológico, hablando de sí, los animales. Animal. Ajá. Sí, entonces, sí, 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 eso íbamos a hacer. Caso, pero... En todo caso, Dani, eh, eh, cuando ya estamos en esa lista, entonces quiere decir de que tendríamos que poner otra conversación, ¿verdad? Ajá, tendríamos, Ajá, que, tendríamos que extenderla. Sí, cabal. Sí. Lo que puede ser, quizás, da, eh, Jonathan, ponerles cuando yo esté, cuando ya yo hable y les haga la, la, la propuesta, tal vez uh -huh. empe Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> How are you dealing with, with the activity? <laughs> How 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 was it? <laughs> I saw the 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 I, I saw some people who were like sweating a lot, right? Uh, well, I hope I hope, and I know and I trust that everything will be all right. Okay, so don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. I, I know that you're gonna do a great job. So. Um, we're gonna respect uh, the order, right? Group number one, group number two. But before getting into the the, the presentation, let me let me um. Well, no, I think it's better if we do it at the end. Okay, so we're gonna start now. Um, I don't know if you have any question related to just before getting to the to the participation or. Well, Belen is just getting into the class. Maybe she she had some problems, okay? Now, well, we're gonna start group number one. Hope you're ready, okay? Let me see about group number one. People in group number one. Give me a second, please. Okay, group number one, Aidan, Aníbal, Belen, <laughs> Berenice, Claudia, Edgar, Gladys, Michael, and Teresa, right? <laughs> All right, so we are more than ready. Now you have your time. Felicidades, compañeros. Congratulations. No había caricorón aquí. Congrats. So well, let, us, let us start, okay? Now you, you, you decide when to start. Here we go. Well, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And this beautiful night, we prepared a little presentation in this group so that you know who's more. Well, I'm a first, and I am an ordinary person. My name is Berenice. I have 26 years old. And I get up 5 at 3 a.m. every day. And even though when the alarm goes off, it's a bit annoying. Your head that sounds a ring, ring. Well, it's part of living, I think. Uh, I have a kid. He has seven years old. I live with my mom. She's preparing a coffee cup for a start my shift. Uh, and I work at home at the 7 a.m. at 5 p.m. I'm trying because in this moment I am studying English with the people amazing. And I read more books, listen to music and writing my time free. Yeah. And to finish my days in the class and after making some homework, I forgot to the bed in peace. That is a little introduction about me. About me. Uh, I don't know the and now, Teresa, tell me about yourself.
Well, Teresa is down here. And you, Claudia? No. Hello. Hi. Hi. We have a presentation about yourself. Yes. Good morning, teacher. My name is Claudia Torres. I am 46 years old. I am original. I have two children ages 21 and 10. My daily routine for Monday is I get up at 4 a.m. I work bus at 5 a.m. I work from 8 to 4 p.m. My occupation is accounting. accounting of a civil social organization where social projects are carried out for the benefit of the United community. are in the collapse to the town. And some of my activities are checking news, consistent science, Referring to monthly inquiry report events to the boards of directors in 22 organizations located in German, English, Canada, Sweden, and the USA. I will participate in the university for face to face events. Project 2 10 p.m. I study English in the I am learning a lot of Saturday and Sunday in the Vasco or Amita, literally in the watch. Gracias. Oh, great. Your job is really amazing. And now, hey, Maribel, tell me about yourself. Maribel, are you there? Mm -hmm. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Tell me about yourself. Don't no worry. Um, I am Maribel. That's okay. Okay, Maribel, uh, I go for the the next one is Gladys. I don't know. Okay, hello. Hello, uh, Gladys. My name is Gladys Nieto. I am 25 years old. I live with my parents and four brothers. And um, first, I wake up and get up at by 30 a.m., take a shower, have bread and coffee for breakfast every day. Brush my teeth, put on my makeup, and the, I go to the office. I arrive at the work at 7.20 a.m. And I first I check the email, answer calls, check customer account, a full payments. I have lunch every day at 12 p.m. with my co-workers. And um, me, the part, the part of time is at 5 p.m. I arrive at my house at 6.30 p.m. Then I have dinner at the 7.30 p.m. And from 8 p.m. At 2 10 p.m., 
uh, I receive very interest, interesting English class every day and I do my homework at, after finish the class. And on Saturday, I work from the 8 and 12 p the 8 a.m. Uh, to 12 p.m. The I spend time with my family. And on Sunday, I watch TV while my, my brothers and we go to the light for a while. And that's my routine for the week. Thanks. Oh, perfect. You are a lady, a very strong. And I'm very happy. Yeah, <laughs> you are an early bird. <laughs> perfect. And the next one, Aidan, come on. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Adam Ramirez. Uh, I have 41 years old. I have a wonderful family, my wife and my two children, 14 and eight years old. They are the reason to feel like it every day. My day starts when I get up at six in the morning, take a shower, have breakfast, brush myself and then go to the office, arriving at the office at 7.15. Work hours are 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. During the worst day, the first thing I do is check email, review the work progress of the other collaborator, attend vir virtual uh, meeting for projects that are being developed. The work environment is excellent. I return home uh, at 6 p.m. They then have dinner to be ready ready for English class at 8 p.m. These class are very interesting. On Saturday, uh, all days we attend church with my family. It is a very special day because we share with many good people. Thank you, Berenice. Oh, come on, yeah, this is really nice. Oh, it's so great. And you, Michael? Yes. Yes. Uh, when I I I going to talk a little about my daily routine. Uh, when the day when the day is beginning, I I get up. I'm early bed. I must brush my teeth as well. I have to get dressed very quickly uh, every day so as not to be late for work. When I must get late to my to my work. I usually prepare my breakfast and lunch. My son always say me, stay with you, the umbrella is raining. Always travel by bicycle because I like, I like close to work. Uh, as well, I like to go watching the landscapes of the environment. I really, Travel by bus. We hardly ever have holidays. Have holidays with my coworkers. Also, we have a lot of work to do daily. That's oh. it. Classmate. Oh, well, Michael, we can say you got an act to work and bicycle every day. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> well, <laughs> and next. You and Ivel? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Aníbal López. <laughs> it's nice. I will uh, tell you a, a little about my family. Uh, I will do. I, I will do do my presentation with the slides. That is great.
Well, you can study, yeah. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, it's cherry. <laughs> uh, my family, my family are at home. Uh, my uh, my family live uh, in a small house. Uh, it's simple uh, but pretty. It has a large garden. Uh, I like to work. I like to work in the garden, but my sister hates to work in the garden. Uh, she reads in the morning, in the afternoon, and the and the night. Give uh, love uh, of the of the vegetable, the moon, and that. Uh, I like to, to cook in, in our small kitchen. I eat any vegetable, but my sister eats uh, only a few. Mm. <laughs> my family always eats breakfast and dinner together. We talk, uh, we love. Uh, then my sister was a delicious. At night, I like to listen to music. Uh, work, uh, on the computer. Uh, I watch television and my sister reads. Uh, so, Soon we go to bed. My parents will go to bed late, but my sister and I go to bed early. I'm ready to go to sleep, uh, but my sister wants to keep reading. <laughs> That's all, Pleasure okay. to you. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is this okay. an interesting presentation, but yeah, it's really great. Okay. Yeah, good yeah. job. <laughs> and one, the last one. Come on, Edgar. Finish. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, and the next one, Edgar. Come on. Okay, well, my name is Edgar. I am 28 years old. And I am from Marasan, but because uh, of my work, I live in La Union. And um, every day I wake up at 6.45 in the morning to go to work. Also, rarely I get up uh, at the time. I like the alarm clock always rain, and I don't get up yet, uh, but until 15 uh, minutes later. Then I take a shower and brush my teeth, get dressed, drink my coffee, and leave my car for the court. I arrive at my office at 8.30 in the morning. I start by reviewing what I have scheduled for the for day in the in the course. I fulfill my schedule. Uh, at 10, uh, I have my lunch break and resume what I what at one at the afternoon. If a chip uh, look at a period during the day, I must be present uh, to supervise the operation. I usually don't are the functions that I perform in the work, work day. Um, I usually leave my job at five in the afternoon or seven at night. When I get home, but I relax, I check my social network for a while. Then I take a, a bath and get my dinner and get ready to receive the English class at eight o'clock at night. Yeah. At the end class, I always, always do the homework uh, that the teachers use a scene in the class. And I go to sleep around 11.30 p.m. If I can on, on the weekend, I go home to visit in my morning and ceiling. And that's all, thanks. 
Wow, guys. Your life is very interesting. Uh, nobody has the same daily routine, but you are amazing people. Amazing group. Where they finish this group, teacher? Sorry. Um, well, I think Maribel is missing, right? That's man. It's called me Will. He has my presentation on my session. Yeah, go um, good evening, are you college my teacher? My name is Maribel Rivas. I am uh, 41 year old um, or more on three children and uh, secretary. Is cha or Mori Arias is in company who are charged more in uh, the customer service areas. Feels um, appointment. I live in San Antonio, Bad. I have um, here this in San Salvador. Forgive me la expression. I have been learning English. And it has been difficult with me. And you hope you stand in. Thank you. Don't worry. That's okay. Well, I think so that is finished. It. And Hello. everyone, this presentation. Adios, Belen is here. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, hi, my name is Belen. I am 32 years old. I'm from in El Salvador. I work at Fire. I live with my husband and son. And my husband, my son, have 14 years old. His name is Diego. Uh, I have two pets, a dog and a cat. Their names are Gary and Walter. At the moment, este, my daily routine is uh, every day I get up at 5 a.m. because I wake up my son to go to school. After I cook breakfast and have breakfast with my husband, uh, then I drive to work. I supervise the store of the country. And as I am at uh, 1 p.m., I have lunch with my co-worker and, and I join my work. I get home around 9 p.m. And uh, on weekends, uh, I like to go out with my family, go to the movies, and eat this book. Well, so. That is well, okay. That is really way. Well, I think so. Yeah, that is finished. The other people, nobody. Yeah, that's okay. Everyone is here. Yeah. Well, finished. All right. Now, can I say something? Yes. Now, look at the chat. Okay, that's a that that's a I, I, okay. Uh, that is a new expression for you. Okay, hats off. You investigate that later. I will say, I will say it in Spanish. Okay, don't worry because you are amazing. Okay, so we're gonna listen. We're gonna give the opportunity to group number two. I know they have been uh, getting ready for it tonight. And I know they're going to do something amazing, too. All right. So let us pay attention. All right. Group number two. Let me see. I will check because I have the list over here. I was just thinking about, about your performance. Okay. I have a couple of, of, of observations, but, you know, that's all right.
All right, Daniel, Jonathan, Maribel. Is that right? Uh, I have Mario. No, Maribel already participated, right? I have Mario, Ronan, and Vera Lives, right? I don't know if I'm missing somebody. Okay, so you can start whenever you are ready, okay? Okay, ahorita. Hey, how are they? What a joke. What a joke this to see. Thank you. Good. I feel well. Working hard, taking care of all my family and happy to be together event. If it is by video call. Yeah. Okay. How's everybody? How are you? It's a pleasure to see you tonight. Mario. Hola, buenas, yo no voy a participar. Ok, ok. Ok. Mario, it Hola. told me that it could not connect because it is still working. Oh, Rona, it told me that it could not connect because it is still working too. Well, now I'm working as a billing assistant at the Delco. I have been working for two years from Monday to Friday from 8 30 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. on Saturdays until noon. But please listen. I ask you to connect so that we can set the date, time, and place where we can meet. Personality, I would like us to go to diner on Friday or Saturday at Paseo El Carmen, for example, by the way we can dance and we can also have a few drinks. <laughs> but we <we'll> go, <laughs> but we will do what the majority says. Just don't tell me you can, please. Okay, I. I am not going to a meeting on Monday or other day because my agent is very busy. On Mondays, my boss tells me, Daniel, please print the report. Daniel, please check your email. Daniel, please send the sales report, etc., etc." I'm sorry, I let's meet on Saturday. Yeah, I am very 
to have the opportunity to do it myself. But it's very difficult for me because of all of my work. To say I have no plans to visit. And I feel I have been after 2 p.m. I have room with the manager and the um, six, sorry, six I have been preparing for to be that we call for our free weekend. I look forward to your response, Gary Fox, Norma. Maria. I can from Monday to Friday because I am working in the activities that I do at home. My day from Monday to Friday are a bit heavy. I had to get early and in the morning I had to go to drop off my son at kindergarten. Then I got to work inside at 8 o'clock in the morning. I go out for night. At uh, 12 o'clock, then I got back to work at uh, 1 o'clock. In afternoon, I leave work at 6, and I went home between I work at 6 and 22 7. I make dinner, then I leave I English class from 8 to 10, the, I got to sleep. And the only day you call action is Saturday of um, Sunday. Jonathan. Oh, I think it's a very good idea to go to the zoo. Well, on Tuesday, I won't be able to accompany you. I have to make a trip to a record another department with my partner, Shamara. But what do you think if we leave in your Saturday? Or oh, Saturday? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So let's have a family outing next Sunday and go to the zoo to distract ourselves for a moment. Do you agree? Yes, I like to zoo. Okay. I like to see monkey uh, eat <laughs> banana. I, 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 I. I like to see a lion. Wow. <laughs> okay. Finish. Finish. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. You, you know, there is an expression that I want to teach to you in the chat. Look at the chat, please. So what's the meaning? What's the meaning? Heads off to you all. There's somebody. Okay, so that's a new expression, okay? Heads off. So when you want to say to somebody that, you, that he or she did a great job, so they say, hey, heads off to you. All right, heads off. Uh, well, you make <laughs> you make miracles actually. Okay, so as you can see, you you've been like uh, you spend like a lot of time talking in English. How how do you feel uh, tonight? Um, now that you know that you can speak English <laughs> for a for for a for a certain period of time, right? So well, I hope that you can notice about your your advancement, your improvement in English, because that is the purpose, right? To be here is to improve, to learn. Well, I will I will I will mention some observations about what you did, okay? But I, I was don't think that don't, don't think that I was just checking the 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 WhatsApp. No, I was taking notes in my cell phone, okay? Mientras los estaba escuchando estaba eh, tomando apuntes de algunas observaciones, ¿ok? Que es muy bueno que, que, que todos las, las contemplemos. De hecho, 
voy a compartir acá el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Si ustedes gustan, lo, lo vemos todo. Y sí, pues. Para que todos podamos ver algunas cosas. Ups, me dice que no lo puedo compartir. Le me sé. Vamos a ver si lo, vamos, si lo podemos copiar. All right, I will share it in the WhatsApp group. Todos atentos al grupo de WhatsApp para que visualice. No, 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 I will, it's better. I will, I will explain to you, okay? So, for example, when you use the expression nobody or no one, you say then the, the, the very in the third person, you know, it's... Give me a second, please. Okay, now, give me a second. Pay attention. Present attention. Uh, when you use the expression nobody, espero que todos lo estén visualizando ahí en, en el... No. Ok, so, cuando usen nobody or no one, eso es tercera persona, ok, eso no se los había dicho, ok, pero ahora sí ya lo saben, no one, nobody, knows, no one, nobody, is, no one, nobody, works, el verbo va a ir en tercera persona, ok, now in the second one, you say, my brother has 15 years old, How do you correct that? ¿Cómo corregimos eso? Entre todos. My brother has 15. My brother is. Okay, so keep it in mind, please. Keep it in mind. My brother is. My brother is 15. Okay? Uh, if I say, I, I have 25 years old. I am. I am 25. I am 25 years old. Now, something that you need to notice about people beautiful. I'm 20 years old. How do you, how, yeah. How do you, how do you correct that expression? People beautiful. People beautiful? Beautiful people. Okay, so it, it's it, okay. In in English, it's al revés, verdad? El adjetivo va antes. Beautiful people. A menos que usted utilice el verbo to be. The people are beautiful. Okay. Now that's different, right? So we studied that in previous in previous lessons. So keep it in mind. Now something that I noticed. Eh, algunos de ustedes cuando participaron. Eh, yo noté que, que, que hizo un poquito de falta de, de práctica. Yo sé, yo entiendo. Mire, por eso les digo, y si, y hacen milagros en realidad como, como equipo. Pero este, al que, al que identifica que le cuesta, digamos, um, presentar con un poquito de fluidez, de más fluidez, hay que practicarlo hasta que lo logremos, ¿ok? Hay que practicarlo hasta que lo logremos. So, fluency. Eh, ¿Cómo pronuncian la siguiente palabra? First. First. No, virtual. 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 Ah, oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Sí, es cierto. Sí, lo siento. Yo me adelanté. Es first. First. Ok. De ahí tengo, tenemos la misma dificultad. I have 25. How do you correct it? I am 25. I am, I am 25. People beautiful. Uh, fluency, virtual, right? So it's pronunciation. Now, how do you correct this one? My family live. My family live. 
My family live. Ok, eso es otro, miren. Cuando, cuando hablemos de, de grupos, vamos, lo vamos a tomar como, como tercera persona. Ok, si decimos familia, entonces ya no hablamos este, en plural, sino como es como singular, es como el equipo, el equipo, la familia, ok. Cuando digan the team, the team is, ok, el equipo es, the team is a great team, un, un equipo grandioso, ok. So, con familia sucede lo mismo, my family is, All right, my family is. So, here, como es tercera persona, dijimos, my family, ¿cuál verbo está ahí en la expresión? Lives. My... Ok, thank you, Vera Liz. My family lives. Decimos in the night. At the night. At night. At night. Uh, how do you pronounce the next word? La U. Ok. Eh, la U, la G y la H al final se va a pronunciar como F. La U. La U. La U. La U. Ok, Michael, pretty good. Love. Ok, everyone. Love. Lo, the next word. How do you pronounce next, next word? Busy. Ah, ok. So some people have problems with that word. That's busy. Busy. Uh, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy. 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 no. Busy, no. Busy. Is it busy? Busy? ¿Saben qué significa busy? Ocupado. No, no. Busy es ocupado. Si usted lo pronuncia mal, puede decir bossy. Y eso es mandón. Ok. Bossy. O mandona en el caso de, la, de las mujeres. Ok. Yo qué sé. Yo qué sé. Bueno, depende de, de, de cada quien. Pero yeah. ustedes pueden decir: My wife is bossy. Mi esposa es mandona. <risa> Hasta ahí se los dejo, ¿ok? Uh, okay. Es solo un ejemplo, no es que estoy diciendo que aquí sucede eso. Eh, how do you pronounce next word? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, all right. And Sunday. the last one? Monkey. Okay. Monkeys, all right. So, what is the purpose, people? What is the purpose? Fíjense que el propósito no es empezar a sacar errores, no. Si, si yo les dije... Hats off to all, to all es porque en realidad hicieron algo, algo grandioso. Más sin embargo, hay que aplaudir lo que, lo que trabaja muy bien, pero hay que hacer ciertas observaciones. ¿Por qué? ¿Para qué? ¿Para qué mejor? ¿Ok? Es para qué mejor. Uh, I don't know if you have some, some uh, comments about the activity. How was it? Was it difficult to work in teams? Uh, no comments? Um, no, yo creo que no. No comments, okay? Okay, well, actually, something that, that I noticed also, uh, aquí no coloqué algo que también noté en la presentación, y es que uh, algunos, cuando, cuando estaban trabajando en su presentación, quizás se encontraron con, con expresiones que no sabían cómo decirlas, cómo crearlas. Entonces fueron y buscaron en internet yo estoy 90% seguro que lo hicieron porque son expresiones que yo no he enseñado y eso está súper genial hay una, una persona utilizó un, un tema gramatical que se ve allá en avanzado perdón, en, en intermedio okay, entonces eso está muy bien está súper siempre y cuando ustedes sepan que la expresión la han aprendido muy bien Además de eso, les va a servir con otras clases que ustedes se van a ir familiarizando. ¿Okay? Y si ustedes también se pudieron dar cuenta, hablaron 
eh, por un periodo de tiempo bastante aceptable para que sea básico dos si ustedes mañana ven el video se van a dar cuenta que o sea se, 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 se pueden autoevaluar y ustedes pueden decir estoy dando la mía extra o no la estoy dando ¿Okay? y estén con cualquier docente que estén siempre ven esa mía extra porque el beneficio es para ustedes ¿Ok? Vamos a, 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 a utilizar, vamos a optimizar tiempo. Todavía tengo algunas actividades ahí pendientes. ¿Ok? Um, necesito, vaya, necesito que, la, que, las, que las actividades en la plataforma de la tercera semana sí estén terminadas ahora, ¿ok? Necesito que eso sí esté terminado. Vamos con el PDF. Okay. Mañana vamos a tener una noche bastante traba, trabajosa. <ríe> ya la tengo lista. Así que, pero ahora vamos a dar, vamos a terminar con esto. All right, people. So, Pretty good. Now, something that I, I also took into consideration about, about your presentation is when you put into practice mm -hmm. the present continuous, right? Remember that that's, that's been like the last topic we have been working uh, yeah. during these days, okay? So questions such as uh, who are attending the annual conference this year? Where is it taking place? Um, the conference is taking place in the great. When are the materials arriving? They are arriving on Friday. So you know, this week we, are, we have been working a lot in the present continuous, right? So we already started about double H question words, okay? We know that we can use them with both. Present simple, present continuous. Present simple, present continuous, okay? So over here, we, we were also talking about double H questions with ING4, I mean, present continuous. And well, I, I need I need to get into a part And this is the part, okay? This is the part. Yeah. So that we can finish with this. Listen, guys. Over here, we already know, we perfectly know how to use present continuous, right? And we know the different ways to use it. Okay, future at the moment of talking. And now here we have for temporary situations. Okay, so you need to be clear about it. Okay, we use it for temporary situation. Or, okay, you can use expressions such as these days at the moment. Okay, uh, to emphasize temporary. Aspect of the activity. Examples. I am reading a new book these days. Temporary action, right? Um, I am reading a new book these days, maybe like during the whole week, right? So but that, that doesn't exactly mean that the person is reading the book at the moment of talking. Wendy is having a meeting at, at this moment. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment, okay? So she's having the meeting at the moment of talking, right? We are talking, uh, sorry, we are taking an English course. The course will end. So when are we finishing? When are we finishing the English course, people? Who tell who tells me? When next we, week. Next week. When exactly? Next week. Monday. Okay, so you may say, hey, teacher, you know what? We are finishing the English course or the basic English course. 
next Monday, okay? In that way, you practice the grammar, right? So you may say, for example, hey, uh, when are we finishing the class, the discourse? Next Monday, okay, it's all right, no problem. But a piece of advice, no hay problema, Daniel. Si yo le digo, por ejemplo, hey, ¿cuándo terminamos el, el, el curso de inglés básico 2? Daniel dice, el lunes. Está perfecto, ok, está muy bien. Pero como, como recomendación, cuando, cuando estemos estudiando un tiempo, tratemos de usarlo. Ok, dar expresiones completas, como decir, uh, hey people, when are we finishing the English course? Ah, teacher, you know, we are finishing the English course on Monday. Ok. Ok. Now, let's see. Now there is a role play. Now you, you created something. Uh, quiet, uh, good tonight. So, for tomorrow, people, para mañana, los ejercicios del PDF, por favor, que todos estén terminados hasta la página 18. Uh, perdón, 38. 38, perdón. ¿Por qué? Porque ya mañana vamos con otra cosa. Miren, hey, do you ever call tech? Tech support, when do you do it? Esto ya es otra cosa. Es otro tema. Entonces necesitamos que todos los ejercicios del PDF estén terminados hasta la página 38. All right? So I will check list attendance. I will check list attendance. Lo voy a dejar trabajando en el documento y voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? Ok. Okay, uh, Aidan. Present teacher. Good. Belen. Present teacher. Good. Claudia. Present teacher. Excellent. Daniel. Present teacher. Fantastic. Maribel. Here. Good. Edgar. Present teacher. Hi. Gladys. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan. Present teacher. Hello. Maria Elba. Present teacher. Cristobal. Berenice. Yeah, I'm here. Good. Michael. Yes, teacher. Good. Aníbal. Present teacher. All right. Ronan. Oscar. So Oscar, I, I didn't see Oscar. Let me see. Maybe in the chat. Mario's over here. Ronan over here. I didn't see Oscar. Right. I don't see Oscar just right now. Ronan over here, Teresa. I think Teresa was in a group. And Vera Liz. Present. Good. All right. Listen carefully. Listen to what we're gonna do. I will check the, the, the information in the platform. Hey, llevamos un récord genial. Miren, llevan un récord en asistencia casi perfecto como grupo. Uh, en las actividades de la plataforma, igual. Este grupo está súper activo. So, voy a chequear las actividades de, 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 de la plataforma. Y solo voy a mencionar cuántas personas todavía les, les faltaría ponerse al día. Solamente eso sin mencionar nombres, por supuesto.
Ok, semana 3. Uh, only six people. Seis personas no están al 100% todavía, ¿ok? Seis personas. Uh, do me the favor to work on that. If you know that you are still missing something in the platform, do me the favor to work on that tonight, please. And, you know, you have to start with the first activity. No. I know we need to finish the last one tonight, right? So let's see, let's go over it because it's going to be the last activity of the week number three. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. So, una consultita. No sé si dentro de esos seis estoy yo. Porque ahorita no tengo acceso a mi computadora ya que se me bloqueó y no pude entrar, sino que por medio de teléfono estoy. Pero ah, no me ah. recuerdo si me falta una. Uh, ok. Que si alguien no tiene mañana. dificultad en que les diga que, que este, si tiene alguna duda, yo, yo perfectamente se los digo. Sí, gracias. Ok, let me see. Aidan, right? Aidan. Ok, Aidan tiene pendiente de la semana 3, pero, pero ya hizo el 60%. Quiere decir que le hace falta, no sé si son dos ejercicios nada más. Dos quizás. Ok. Sí. Ok, mañana las finalizo. Excelente. Sí, gracias. gracias. Ok. So we're going to try to find by to, to finish by solving the last exercise in the platform about the about the week number three. Yeah, this is the review and the practice. Okay, now we share. Okay, Norma is over here. Good, Norma. Okay, so this is, the, let me see. Okay, so this is the last exercise about a uh, week number three, okay? The, this is the activity number 15. Okay, this is very easy, right? So you know, uh, well, actually we, we solve it tonight, right? So my neighbor is playing soccer tomorrow. This is what we did tonight, right? So I I wonder if we are if we are still missing one exercise then. No. So this is for tomorrow. Ways to report the problem. So we are done, people. We're done. Okay. Ya estamos completos entonces con la semana tres. Ya 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 resolvimos todos los ejercicios. Okay, so I don't know if you have any comment. ¿Cómo estuvo la actividad eh, de en grupo? ¿Cómo pudiéramos mejorarlo o pues estuvo bien así como lo hicimos? Roje, el documento llega hasta el, hasta el número 15. Hasta el 15 llega la semana 3, Michael. Mm, de ahí empieza la 4. De ahí digo. empieza la 4 y, y tienen el, el final test. Esta semana tienen eh, el examen final, ¿ok? Ok, some comments, some suggestions. No? Okay, so, well, I, I just want to congratulate you because you did a great job. Even though you were all day long and then you come back home 
uh, you get connected at eight and then we finish classes at 10. So you are doing your best and that's something amazing. Okay. I, I congratulate you and I, and I highly recommend you to continue doing so. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to go over uh, with a new, a new topic. Okay. Uh, mañana van a memorizar una conversación. Okay. Necesito que practiquemos uh, fluidez. Okay. Fluidez. Así que mañana vamos con eso. Uh, if you don't have any question, any comment. So, no question. Lo dejamos acá. Solo si, si les, de, les quiero dejar bien claro que los felicito. ¿Cuántos nos sacamos? Por... Se sacaron 20. Por grupo. Okay. <risa> Se sacaron 20. Ambos grupos lo hicieron muy bien, la verdad. ¿Saben qué sí les faltó? Los, los sonidos, efectos de sonido, solo un tigrito y ahí un gatito. <risa> Okay. Yo esperaba, yo esperaba. Ah, con miedo, eh. Es que estaban sucios las cucharas. Sí. La, 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 yo creo que, la, yo creo que sí. este, yo esperaba escuchar la, la, las cacerolas, la, los gatitos, la, pero no, pero esto estuvo bueno, un par de gatitos ahí que sonaron, pues estuvo bien. Y este, pero no, yo sé que pues. El, Por el tiempo, tiempo. El tiempo es muy corto. La verdad que les tocó hacer algo milagroso, pero lo hicieron. Y eso es, eh, tiene mucha satisfacción. Otro día vean el video y escúchense. Y, y cuando estén en avanzado, si, bueno, no, no sé si lo pueden descargar, pero ahora vayan haciendo comparaciones. Y hey, así sonaba yo cuando estaba en básico. Ahora estoy en intermedio y en intermedio recuerdan pues, otro video y lo comparan con avanzado y ahí ustedes mismos van a ir viendo si sí si, ha valido la pena su esfuerzo o si todavía falta hacer más para lograr nuestras metas. Ok, uh -huh. hay metas a corto plazo, hay metas a largo plazo, a mediano plazo. Ustedes sabrán qué tanto quieren aprender y la rapidez con la que la quieren hacer. ¿Ok? Depende más de ustedes que no, de nosotros. Si de nosotros fuera, pues nosotros quisiéramos que ya estuvieran en avanzado. Pero no, o sea, es un proceso. ¿Ok? Tampoco nos vayamos a tropezar por correr demasiado, sino que cada quien identifique, analícese cómo aprende, qué tan rápido aprende. Y este, lo más importante, asegúrense que lo que están aprendiendo está bien aprendido. Porque, por ejemplo, ahora, digamos, algo, noté que algunos todavía decían I have, para decir los años. Eh, I have 20, pero, pero recuerden que para decir la edad tenemos que ocupar el verbo to be. Yeah. ¿Ok? O sea, son cositas que si nosotros lo dejamos pasar... Wow, llegamos a, a intermedio y todavía podemos cometer el error de decir I have. Otra que también este, espero yo que no, no, no lo vayan a aprender de manera equivocada es con people. No podemos decir people is. Debe ser people are. ¿Ok? People are. Lo podemos decir people is solo cuando hablamos de un pueblo. Salvadorian people is. American people is. Pero si decimos de manera general, las personas, people are. People are. Ahí depende de cómo lo, cómo lo vayamos a utilizar, ¿ok? Ok, vamos a quedarnos acá y los veo mañana. See you tomorrow. Uh, okay, okay. Good take nice. it easy. Good <laughs> Sleep well and let's see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye, bye.